good evening and welcome to the regular meeting of the Worcester City Council this uh, May 20th, 2019. It's after 7.30 p.m. The next meeting for council will be June 3rd, 2019. Guess we are starting to rush through this year already. If you would, Ms. DePaulo, please call the roll. Mr. Ansel. Here. Mr. Pistanza. Here. Mr. Cavan. Here. Mr. Myers. Here. Mr. Sanders. Here. Mr. Silvestri. Here. Ms. Warden. Here. And everyone's here. It's nice to see everyone. So we do have a quorum. Our agenda will remain as presented. And at this time, I would ask you to stand and join the City Council in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Next item would be the approval of the minutes of the May 6, uh, 2019 uh, council meeting. So moved. Motion to approve by Mr. Silvestri. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Cavan. No, um, that was Mr. S Mr. Myers. Oh, Mr. Myers. I'm sorry. I don't, honestly, I don't hear where, well out uh, this side of, uh, uh, so I apologize. So second by Mr. Myers. All in favor of approving the uh, council meeting minutes of May 6th, say aye. 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 Those opposed, say nay. The meeting minutes for May 6th are approved. Good evening, Mayor. Welcome. And uh, I turn the floor over to you, sir. Thank you, President Bidendike and members of council. Nice to see everyone this evening. Um, a few things just to bring you up to speed on. Uh, one thing that happened uh, that is very good for our city and good for the county is uh, we have formed a transportation improvement district. Uh, those are, are led by the county. Uh, so there are five members on that board, Becky Foster, a county commissioner, Scott Miller, the county engineer, Trevor Hunt, the planner for the county, Tom Pukas, who's WEDC uh, CEO, and Joel Montgomery, our city engineer. So uh, those, <laughs> those um, five are in charge of it. Why it's good is it has the potential of bringing up to a half, or I'm sorry, a quarter million dollars into our communities here in Wayne County. So uh, right now there are two applications. Uh, the city of Worcester is one where we would do a connection between Old Airport Road and Daisy Way to uh, make that uh, connected uh, two streets so that we don't have two long cul-de-sacs and it would improve the uh, business flow out in that area. Uh, Wayne County uh, engineer put in one project down off of Elyria Road that is also uh, uh, possible for contention. So, so that's good uh, things and if, if we would uh, be fortunate enough to be chosen, uh, that could bring uh, 250000 into our community in this year's time frame. So, so very good things happen in, a, in that front, and that is something that can happen year after year. So, so good things there. An um, uh, uh, event called Reading Under the Lights took place uh, uh, Friday or so ago. Uh, really a neat program. It, it lets kids, uh, mainly in the elementary grades, come down, uh, let, have readers there uh, for them to hear books and stories uh, from, from people in the community. Uh, they get a, a free, free meal, hot dogs and, and uh, uh, chips and a drink down there, and they leave with five books that they choose to read for the summer, just uh, paperback books that are donated by uh, the Kiwanis Club, and uh, uh, the other uh, entities involved are the city schools, the United Way, the public, public library and our Worcester PD and fire departments are involved. Certified Agnes Beef helped with the meal and uh, Quantum Club helps with uh, providing some of the books to, to the thing. So, so really nice event. Um, the compensation committee that you all approved here uh, has had two meetings to my knowledge. I, I met with them uh, and on the initial meeting just to thank them for being a part of it, to give them sort of an explanation of what uh, they are uh, asked to do according to our charter and, uh, and then uh, introduce Joel and Andre and John to them as uh, 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 resource 
people that if they had questions and things, that, that those are the ones to, to uh, get information from. So um, I, I don't know really any of the discussions because I, I, I shouldn't. I'm, you know, they're, they're deciding uh, all of our uh, wages and, and the compensation. So, so uh, I've steered clear of that, but any of these guys can probably give you any uh, uh, answers to questions that you might have about that. Um, Underground Cafe opened in Liberty Commons in the basement. Uh, it's there where uh, Muddy Waters uh, had originally started and, uh, and uh, Tem Templeton's uh, Scottish uh, Bakery was down there the last. But uh, a very good little business, nice coffee shop, it's worth stopping by. Uh, we, yesterday we had our Wayne Trails uh, bike uh, benefit ride. Uh, we had about 50 people that, uh, that actually rode between Worcester and Fredericksburg to see the path that we're trying to create and, uh, and raise some, uh, some nice funds. I don't have an answer between uh, whether Sue raised more money or I raised more money. At this point they're still uh, trying to figure that out. So uh, hopefully I, I won't have to buy the pizza, but hey, that's a, a small price uh, to, uh, to have a nice benefit like, the, like what we had there yesterday. And uh, the PD had a thin blue line walk on uh, Saturday morning uh, out at uh, the high school and around to the safety center and uh, just brings awareness of uh, how, how thin that line is between uh, uh, having a safe community and, and having the uh, problems in your community. So. so those are the only things I have to report. And uh, if you have questions, we're here to, to help. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, petitions, none. Uh, communications uh, from the public. Now, Mr. Breeden, I know you want to talk, but your item is not on the agenda, but I would recommend if you're wor worried about sidewalks. Uh, Okay, but I would su suggest you talk with the administration about your pre-construction concerns and then when uh, items are before uh, council regarding that, I would in certainly invite you and ask you to come and uh, express your opinions on it. Okay, and in the meantime, the best time is to voice concerns before construction even even starts. Yeah. So, yeah. and help you folks out and a lot of other people. Okay. Not just myself. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Thank Breed. You. And the other uh, individual is uh, David Cooper, who uh, represents the developer with regard to the uh, zoning uh, change that will most likely come off the table if Mr. Sanders is so inclined. So, Mr. <laughs> Cooper, here's your opportunity, and I would re request that you come over there, and you might need to turn on the microphone. Uh, I already did. Oh, it's already been oh, turned good. on. Is there a green light on it? Yes. Yeah, you're good. Hello, my name is David Cooper. I'm with Harsex Management. Thank you for letting me come tonight. Um, I'm here uh, to request rezoning of 32, 32 and a half acres in West Milltown Road from, I think it's C1 to R4. <clears throat> um, I think you're familiar with the project, your packets. Does anybody have any, any questions for me? Okay. Well, I, I do. I know <clears throat> there were some issues that had to be worked out. I don't know if you're still working on those or... <clears throat> With regard to certain, I, I thought with infrastructure and some other. Yeah, things. we're working with the with the city to bring sewer to the property. We met last week, and our engineer is working with the city engineer and, and Joel to, uh, to bring the sewer to the property. I think we'll be fine with it. So, the, yeah, because the last I heard, it was kind of up in the air as to whether that project was going to go forward. So it's, yeah, we feel it is. We it's, we feel real comfortable. Okay. It's going to move forward. We're excited. Probably won't start till maybe a year from now, mm -hmm. maybe a little bit less, but probably not this summer. The well, summer that, will be the planning and designing. That, that's exciting to hear. So. I know. Well, thank for you for too. coming down. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you for the work you're doing on this. I think those two properties, uh, the Nobles and Craycrafts, uh, have been 
very supportive of our community over the years, and I'm happy to see something being done with that property. Good, thank you. They've been great to work with. Good. Mr. Sylvester? Yes. Can I ask just for clarification, uh, if I may, it appears that the sale is contingent on the rezoning? Yes. Okay. It is. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. And okay. I won't hold it against you who you're hanging with tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I can move over by, by Mr. Dunn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was in favor of it until... <laughs> okay, that... Uh, Concludes the uh, petitions and communications segment. Uh, we did have a uh, laws and ordinance committee uh, meeting uh, before the council meeting. Do uh, you want to report on that, Mr. Sanders? I most certainly will. <clears throat> yeah, was we uh, our laws and ordinance committee meeting uh, discussed, rediscussed uh, at length the potential uh, changes to. Um, our ordinances regarding the allowance of golf carts on our public streets. Um, the short version of it is, is that uh, there was no consensus to support that. And so at this point, uh, well, I think it's safe to say that we've discussed it and uh, I, don't, I don't think that we need to discuss it again. So, All right. Thank you. Thank you very much for uh, that report. No public hearings. Under unfinished business is the tabled item, ordinance number 2019-01. It will be presented by Mr. Sanders if we vote to take it off the table. And just a note, and Mr. Sanders is well aware, this would be the third reading, so no suspension of the rules would be necessary. So at this point in time, I... I motion to untable ordinance 2019-01. Mr. Sanders uh, moves to uh, take uh, ordinance number 2019-01 off the table. Second. Is there a second? Second by Mr. Myers. Would you please call the roll on the motion to take the ordinance off the table? Ansel? Yes. Cavan? Yes. Warden? Yes. Myers? Yes. Sanders? Yes. Silvestri? Yes. Vistanzik? Yes. Ordinance number 2019-01 is in play, so to speak. All right, I did. If we, if you would, Ms. Uh, DePaulo, please read the title, and then we'll turn it in the, over into Mr. Sanders' capable hands. Ordinance number 2019-01, an ordinance amending part 11, planning and zoning of the codified ordinances of the city of Worcester, Ohio, to rezone land to R4, multifamily residential for property located on West Milltown Road. Mr. Sanders, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. President. Yes, we have uh, discussed this item two other times. Uh, there didn't seem to be any major questions or concerns uh, regarding the rezoning. And at this point, I would motion for adoption. Okay, motion to adopt by Mr. Sanders. Is there a second? Second. Second by Mr. Ansel. Any further discussion, questions? Seems like it's a good use for the uh, real estate, seeing that uh, uh, the commercial uh, venture was not so well received. Anything else? Of course, Mr. Silvestri. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> I do want to thank Mr. David Cooper from Harsax for coming down uh, and, and speaking with us this evening. Um, surely we've uh, looked at this piece of property before, and as far as I can tell from the application, I think this would be a real appropriate use of the land. So um, I, I trust that the, the applicant will be able to work with the city administration to work out anything that is still pending. Um, but it, to me, it looks extremely positive, not only for our city, but for, for the ward that I represent, to see that 32.4 acres go to R4. I think it fills a, a, a need. I think it's the right location, and I wish you well in your endeavors. Thanks. Seeing nothing else, would you please call the roll on the motion to adopt? Ansel? Yes. Cavan? Yes. Warden? Yes. Myers? Yes. Sanders? Yes. Silvestri? Yes. Vistancic? Yes. Ordinance number 2019-01 passes. Mr. Cooper, you can go back and tell you did your job and uh, you deserve a bonus for tonight's work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and 
one of the few times that I can remember, there's no new business, which brings us to miscellaneous. And uh, before I uh, get to the rest of you, I would like to say not only is our city an award-winning city, but we have an award-winning journalist who covers our uh, uh, meetings. Uh, Ms. Tammy Moser won a number of awards uh, in, uh, for her writing for the uh, Daily Record, and I just wanted to give her a shout out and say congratulations, and if I've embarrassed you, <laughs> all the better. So, <laughs> so congrats. So we'll start out with uh, Mr. Cavan. Oh, nothing to add, thank you. Ms. Warden. Um, I would just like to thank everyone for enduring our um, Laws and Ordinances Committee meeting tonight. I think um, it was helpful to have one final discussion on the matter, and um, I feel like I have a little bit more clarity about it. So um, yeah, and congratulations, Ms. Moser. Mr. Myers. Nothing further this evening. Mr. Sanders? Nothing to add. Mr. Silvestri? I will just say I want to thank the mayor for bringing us up to speed on a number of items, and I, uh, I think he called it a transportation commission that's been formed, uh, that, if that's the term. And the only thing that surprised me about that is uh, I hope even though uh, Mr. Millay was not mentioned as on that committee, I know he's got uh, extremely high skill levels in bringing dollars, grant dollars into our city and I hope that you'll at least rely on his expertise, and we wish you all the best in securing the quarter million to join uh, Old Airport and Daisy Way. So. Mr. Bistanzik. Uh, just one item. I've been told by the administration that um, the tax credits have gone through for the, the other residential development project that we had discussed previously for moderate to lower income uh, residents, and... Um, is that the last thing and last piece of the puzzle for that? Yes, thank you. That's actually something I did forget in my, my uh, report. Uh, that uh, uh, they did receive, uh, Miller Valentine did receive uh, federal buy in to the, uh, the uh, development, and so that shall be breaking ground Great. probably later this fall, is what uh, are, we're hearing out of that group so far. So, so that is a uh, uh, I'm not sure the exact number anymore. It started out as 61 unit, uh, but it, I think it's downsized slightly, but it, it's somewhere between 40 and 61 units uh, that are going to come in for uh, um, mid-income, um, low to moderate income mm -hmm. uh, units available out on 585. So, Thank yeah. you. I think that's something that's really sorely needed right now. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Mr. Ansel. Yes, keep up the good work, Tammy, and I will motion to adjourn this evening. Motion to adjourn by Mr. Ansel. Is there a second? Second. Third. Second by Mr. Myers. All in favor. Third, fourth, and fifth. All in favor, say aye. 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 We're adjourned. <laughs>